Hi, I'm Arius, and I'm stalking people. Yup, that's right. You know, I learned so much about some of the top 100 players in my first interview that I just had to find out more. So come listen in on all the secrets I'm about to uncover. But first, shout out of the week goes out to Xadal 1v1XN. Thank you for being a long time sub and keep putting out that great content on your channel. Good stuff, my friend. Good stuff. Now you got one more subscriber. Hello. Hi. How are you? My name is Arius. How should I refer to you? Most of players know me as Lucrezia. You can call me just Lucrezia. Lucrezia, I'm very nervous. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that <laughs> first off. Okay? Why? I'm, I'm super nervous. You know how many times you've kicked my ass in the arena? And <laughs> sorry. No, 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 no. And that's the thing. It's like, I, I don't want you to be sorry. Like, that's awesome. And that's a, that's why I'm nervous. Because it's like, man, this is somebody who's kicked my ass so many times. And now I could finally get to talk to him. And and that's... Don't that's worry. I'm awesome going to me. kick your ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You're going to kick my ass in this interview. And I'm very excited about it. Awesome, man. I am so excited. Thank you for, for taking the time today. Can you tell me how you discovered Elder Scrolls Blades? Well, actually, I was a big fan of Skyrim. I didn't have uh, an opportunity to play on my PC anymore. I'm a student and I'm starting abroad. I was looking for something to play on my phone and like a mini version of Skyrim. It was promised to be. <laughs> so, you know what? This is my second interview. The first one that I did you know journey said the exact same thing she said i found really? blades because i wanted to play skyrim on the go and here you are you said and then you 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 ended it with the exact same context you said it's supposed to be <laughs> like skyrim <laughs> so so now i have to ask you the same follow-up question are you disappointed on your first impressions of it well you know what my first impression was wow i can walk here i can fight here it's <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, and uh, like, you know, uh, they promised that open world, promised that they would open uh, town gates. Of course, they didn't. But yeah. anyway, all those locations, uh, like in the beginning, they looked like, yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking about, what, how I was imagining it. And yeah, I was really excited about this game. And I must say that I don't know, I didn't see any other game which would look like this. Nothing's close. You're right. You know, honestly, that, that's what drew me too. I'm not like you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit older, I'm going to assume, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because I actually fell in love with Morrowind. And I remembered getting out of high school, you know, just making sure that before I got home, all my homework was done. So that all I had to do when I got home was, you know, all my chores. And then I could play like nine hours of Morrowind before I had to go to sleep. <laughs> Oh my god. So I was a big Morrowind nerd and <laughs> when, when I found out that you know you could play something similar on on your mobile device I was excited too and, and you know my expectations were a little bit lower obviously because Morrowind to Skyrim it's a it's a big comparison you know it's a big difference. Yeah. You you picked it up because it was like a, a replacement for Skyrim because you're on the go so much now that you've played it for so you know for as long as you have what do you like the most about it and what do you like the least about it? Actually, arena is my passion. A lot of us is, yes, absolutely. Despite of uh, all those lags and bugs and disconnections, you know, and uh, those irritating exploits uh, yep. which need to be fixed. Remember that, uh, like, there was the time when I was playing it nonstop and uh, like I spent many nights trying to get all those trophies and uh, getting mad when games started lagging or disconnecting. Yep, yep. But yeah, but I was so addicted uh, that even when I hung out with my friends, I, I just tried to escape for 10 minutes to play some matches. <laughs> Lucretia, why do we do that? Why why do we punish ourselves? We know we go in there and it's like 200 ping today, but, but we want to <laughs> Do it anyway like what what drives us to be crazy warriors like that it's just addiction <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yes yeah but about what i like least 
I guess it's just bugs, which we have been asking to fix for a long time. Actually, the fact that developers don't really care about PvP players, because many of us contacted them, we suggested different ways of how to improve the game, so it could be more attractive for new players and make it easier for us. You, you mentioned bugs. Bugs were huge in the beginning. For we're example, uh, we all know that there is a crit bug for heavy weapons, and um, many of us uh, pointed it to the developers. It was real, I don't know, maybe uh, one and a half a year ago. For those who are listening right now and who don't know about the, the crit bug for heavy weapons, could you explain it to them real quick? Sure. It's just when you're fighting heavy weapons and you have the animation of crit, you have perfect timing, but your weapon is doing really little damage. Like if you just swing, not crit. It's doing regular damage or it's actually doing less damage? No, less damage. Holy crap. That's that's yes. really bad. I, I didn't I actually didn't know about that myself. Because... Um, Many players, I mean uh, high-ranked players, uh, when they get this bug, they have to restart the phone to complain. And this is really a problem. But I have bugs or lags or anything else, I'm still trying to like find another way, like to react fast, yeah. to win the match. Like, you know, uh, sometimes uh, we all get this bug when um, screen is frozen, like you can't uh, swing and when all the all the uh, buttons light up, yeah. but you can't press it. So, so what do you do? Well, <laughs> I'm just dying. You just die? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is another problem which needs to be fixed, but unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not. We still play it. <laughs> yes. And, but you know... You know well, sometimes I just want to throw my phone into the wall after matching up uh, with yes. uh, bugs yes. or legs on, or when I match up with uh, exploit abusers uh, several times in a row. So <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> You're leading me down a rabbit hole, Lucretia. So I'm I'm gonna bite. Okay. You <laughs> you you mentioned exploit users. Yes. I'm curious. I I would like to be educated. You know, because I don't know about those things. Like if and this is for everybody who's listening. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a I'm I'm a pretty casual player. I yeah. You know, I don't expect to be in the top 100. I mean, I sure as hell try. This stuff that I learned from you guys, I'm sure you know hundreds of if not thousands of other people would love to know too so please let us know what is it well um there was a known uh, fast block exploit which was fixed actually okay but it was fixed only from one side because uh, like the way most of people did it they can't do it anymore but there are other ways to do it so they fixed one way of doing it but there's still yes. other ways of doing it yes crazy yes <laughs> and how many tickets like can you say you've you submitted informing them about this Many. I mean, um, as I know, the first ticket was sent in December, but they said that, uh, oh, it's Christmas time, so we're taking a break. So in January, in January, we will fix it. So in January, we submitted other tickets, uh -huh. but still nothing. And it was fixed actually uh, in March, I guess. Well, so that's that's um, not bad. <laughs> At least it eventually got fixed, but they didn't fix all of it. Yes, well. because the most common way to do this fast block exploit, it was um, it was easiest uh, to notice uh, while fighting a heavy weapon player. Uh, like, you know, there is timing for a uh, high block and for heavy weapon users, uh, it's uh, longer. Correct. And uh, like, for example, if I play heavy weapon and I do one swing, then I tap fast on, onto the other side of my screen and uh, and uh, put high block. I mean, it must be low block, but it's high. Yeah. So in normal, like in normal game, uh, it's impossible for two handers to block immediately after one swing. I mean, put the high block, right. but this way they just avoid the cooldown. So essentially, you could trick somebody into a high block faster because of the exploit. Yes, because for example, I'm versatile weapon user, and uh, like I know that while a two-handed player swings one time, I can do two hits. Yes. But 
this time, uh, look, this way, uh, I couldn't because I'm doing one swing and the next swing I'm stunning myself. And I'm, I'm sure when the developers get back to you or if they do get back to you at all. They admitted that, yes, uh, there is such a bug, but, oh, wow. but <laughs> they don't want to do anything about it. I mean, didn't. Then they did. Like, yeah, they fixed it, but there are really many other ways to do it and uh, i'm not going to tell about that no about no please don't we, I don't, yeah, I don't want, <laughs> we don't need to create I don't more want people to <laughs> you you shared quite enough and and that's actually really awesome and, and thank you for for sharing that with the rest of us please you do bring up a really good point and maybe somehow some way the the folks at bethesda listen to us and hear that you know th this community has a very active interest in the game we want to help them make it better How Help us help you. Yes. <laughs> it's just the same thing with the bugs. And we just need them to be more attentive. Letting us work with them to identify like, hey guys, is this supposed to be working this way? I don't think so. So what, what at the core, at your very heart, what motivates you to play these days? Well, actually, um, communication. Just because I met a lot of nice people in this community. And uh, this is actually the reason I'm still playing despite of all those bugs and legs. And uh, actually it started a year ago when I joined a PvP guild with uh, Gabriel or Vuthrad or, or Terrible as Grandmaster. He made me to install Discord and my journey began. And uh, well, we had many adventures. So like uh, we created our own guild, which became the strongest guild after five months. Uh, we created a Discord server for Russian-speaking community, which um, turned into a multilingual place for all of our friends. And in November, we started voice chatting and streaming, so it just kept interest to the game. This is why, why I am playing, just because people make this game more interesting. People do, don't they? Man, and you know, that's, that's the message I'm trying, I'm trying to spread. Because here's the reality of it. If you look at Elder Scrolls Blades player base and compare it to something like big one, Clash of Clans or something, right? Mm -hmm. We're just a tiny little drop in the bucket, you know? And I'm okay with it because, you know, I'm cool with the people that are here. I just think that maybe if more players were here to represent our interest, more, you know, more attention around the game, maybe Bethesda would see it like, oh, crap, people do play this game. We <laughs> should make it better. And, and I think the more we talk about it, the more we socialize about it, the more it gets shown on the internet, we can make it happen. Well, actually, um... I like Arena because it has its own trends. Like for example, in December it was it was common to start with a shield bash, for example, where three x health or I don't know, like uh, playing balanced. But now, now just everything changed. So you see mages, you see stamina fighters, and you see two handers. I don't know how to explain this, but Arena is changing like like the real world. You you mentioned something about health, and I remember that. I remember health being a big focus. Have health on all your armor enchants. Um, try to get the 15% health armor bonus on everything with spell resistance so that you could have spell resistance and high health. That way you're harder to get conditioned. I mean, we've heard those yes. things, but now yes. I'm seeing people run like one health piece or no health piece, all stamina or all magicka. Well, actually, yes. Actually, I'm running only one piece of health and it was really hard for me like uh, i became um, i started playing as a mage uh, in january and uh, like for me it was really weird that i have only one piece of health after several months playing with 3x health and like how can i survive yeah how can how did you survive well first two weeks were very difficult because everybody killed me like even I'm, um, I don't know, uh, in Heroes Hall, and I made somebody 500 trophies less, and I'm just dying because, just because I can't play with that little amount of health. Yeah. But later I just, uh, like, you know, practicing is the key, and uh, after 
lots of practice. I just learned to do much damage in a short time. So just to survive. I have a problem because, as they say, blades isn't supported on my device because I had awful legs last autumn uh. and uh, I submitted many tickets. They just said that they can't do anything because my device isn't supported. But they didn't tell me, they couldn't explain me how I could download Blades from Play Market. Yes. Tell me more. Because <laughs> maybe <laughs> other people have this problem too. Well, actually... Um, I don't know. I just started having legs after uh, update. It okay. was a Halloween update. My every fight in the arena looked like a slideshow. So I don't. I had no idea how I uh, managed to get to top hundred for my first time season two in October because of all those legs. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's still a mystery for me. <laughs> there are some problems that cannot be solved. So how did you get around it then? Did you just get a new device? Um, no, I didn't. I accepted it and I was trying not to get irritated. So you played laggy, basically. Yes, yes I played laggy, but after this, the next update, it was it became smoother.